Dairy farms are on the decline in America. That's according to a recent study by the University of Tennessee. The number of those farms decreasing 95% nationwide since 1970. Well, with only 125 dairy farms left in our state, Six News reporter Naomi Helmer visited Sweetwater Valley Farm today and learned how they've adapted to stay afloat. We have a saying in the dairy industry, if you're not growing, you're going to be out. It's just a matter of time. For generations, Sweetwater Valley Farm has supplied East Tennessee with dairy products. But as the industry changed, they had to adapt. Well, I know a lot of people that, uh, like I said, maybe a generation ago even, that were dairy farming and, and have quit or have not been able to continue dairying. And a lot of those people have switched into row cropping or beef cattle, um, things like that, that have a little bit or a little less risk and maybe a little bit better um, guaranteed margin. With low milk sales and high costs of production, many farmers had to leave the industry. But Charles Harrison says diversification has been the key to their growth. Most of our income is from shipping milk out, but you know we, we look at these other businesses and, and kind of say, hey, we probably need to be growing and spending a little bit more time in some of these other businesses because maybe that's where the future is such as producing cheese, harvesting their own feed in their corn mill, and investing in new technology to keep their cows healthy. But with these adaptations, he says it's harder for smaller farms to survive. In the last probably 10 years, it's less than half the dairy farms. 10 years before that, half. So I would say 10 years from now, they'll probably be half the dairies there are now. While the industry is tough, Harrison says it is the family tradition that keeps them in business. Dairy farming is very special. You know, it's, um, it's a lifestyle. I want to raise my kids around the dairy. You know, I want my kids running around around the cows just like I, just like I did. And he says they will continue to adapt as the industry changes. In Loudoun County, Naomi Homer, 6 on your side. Despite their need to adjust to the demands of dairy farming, Sweetwater Valley Farms tells us they've had a good year so far. Uh, they also stress the importance of learning where your dairy comes from and shopping locally to support small business.